for a, another video. I am doing another unhaul um, today and I don't, don't think I have anything worth hauling. I have bought a couple of things, but nothing worth making a whole video about. But I unpacked some boxes and everything from the move and I found some books and I sorted through them and decided that I could get rid of a few. And then there was a few like reads that I'm never gonna come back to again that I've recently read. And so I just decided to part ways with those as well. So I kind of have a pile behind me that fell over. So there's that. Come on. All right, sorry about that angle change. Barley decided she wanted to join, um, but she's looking out the window right now so you can't see her. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the unhaul. And so I'm just gonna kind of start at the ones that are closest to me. And the first one I have is Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendare Blake. Um, I bought this years ago and somehow accidentally bought two copies of it. I'm not really sure how that happened, but one copy is signed and one copy is not. So I am parting ways with my unsigned copy. And I also have um, We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sunquist. This came out a few years ago and it was kind of popular on booktube, but um, my Goodreads says that I read it, but I have no memory whatsoever of reading this book. So therefore it must have been a little bit unforgettable or Goodreads marked it as read and I did not actually read it. So um, I'm just parting ways with it because I probably won't return to it. And then I have a really random book that I'm not sure how this happened, but it is The Reckoning by Beverly Lewis. Um, it wasn't my mom's and it wasn't mine and nobody knows whose it is, so I'm just gonna part ways with it. And then I have Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. And if you watched my most recent recent reads video, um, you've already heard my thoughts on this and I, I will not be returning to it. It was just okay. Um, I don't have anybody around me that reads um, that I think would be interested in it. So I'm just gonna pass it forward to someone who will more than likely enjoy it way more than I did. And then I have a um, one that has the uh, price tag still on it, but it's Thomas Hardy, the mayor of Castor Casterbridge. Um, I bought this a while back when I was on a classics moment. Um, so I bought a bunch of classics that I didn't actually have interest in reading because I thought I would have interest in reading them, but I did not. So this one, I'm parting ways with this one. And then um, I also have If I Stay by Gail Foreman, which also was really popular a few years back. Took book to, uh, book, took book to by storm and um, it was a movie and everything. But um, I actually had two copies of this as well. And um, one of them was signed. So I'm parting ways with my unsigned copy. And so that's just why I'm getting rid of that one. And next I have um, Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Album. Um, I bought a hardback copy and then all my other Mitch Album books are hardback. So I just decided to part ways with the paperback one. Not sure what Barley's back there doing. And I also am getting rid of Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. Um, I bought this years ago with intention of reading it and I've never gotten around to reading it and now I've just kind of lost interest in reading it. So um, I'm just gonna pass it forward. And then I have Shadowland by um, Allison Noel. Noel, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, I think this was in the, I guess, urban fantasy YA era, which I mean, I think there's still some urban fantasy, but this is when a lot of the vampires and everything was really, really popular. And overall, I just, I never really had interest in reading it. I'm not really sure how I ended up with it, but here it is. Hello, Briley. Hello. Did you decide to join? Hi. Can you sit down though? Cause they can't see nothing. Can you sit down? Sit. Good girl. All right. And I am also parting ways with the collective. This was also in my most recent recent reads video. Um, and so if you've watched that, you've already heard my thoughts on it, but overall, um, I'm not going to return to this. It was just okay. And same as home before dark. Um, the people around me that read, I don't think would have any interest in this. So I'm going to pass it forward to somebody that I think would have interest in it. 
And then I have Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Um, this is kind of just a similar situation of um, some of the other books I've had. I somehow ended up with two copies of it, and so I'm going to part ways with one copy, but neither one of mine are signed. I just accidentally bought two copies. And then um, I have a lot of these next ones, so I'm going to kind of unhaul those as I unpack them. But they're like illustrated classics, and I remember having them as a child, and I never had any interest in reading them. So I'm going to pass them forward to hopefully somebody that may have interest in reading them. But they are um, abridged versions. I mean, the illustrations are kind of cute, but they're they're just really basic. They're just kind of little sketches. So nothing that I feel that I will be missing out on if I pass them forward. And that is all the books that I have to unhaul today. Hopefully, I will see y'all again with another either unhaul or recent reads or maybe a book haul. I'm not really sure at this point. But I will see y'all again soon with a, another video. Oh, wow.